What's up everybody? Crush Boys here in Europe at the Beast. Crush Boy Chronicles over the pond. That is some awesome stuff, right Simon? Practice round for the 2022 major European Open. We're excited. Eagle's back. I'm here. Enjoy. All right, I'm going. Viva Hito. Oh, unlucky. Viva Hito. Unlucky. You gotta aim for the trees on the right. Go. Short. Go. Do you know what it is? 40 foot or exactly what right. I want. Tennessee exactly two. Exactly what I want. Tennessee two in Europe. Holy snap. Same tree? Same tree. That's perfect. Why don't you run it in practice? Because it's practice. You're supposed to practice how you play. Really? And I don't want to play like you during the tournament. <laughs> practice how you play. Look where my disc is, Eagle. That's actually my disc. That? No, the other one. Oh, okay. No, I mean this I, one. I'm talking about Iron Samurai. Simon's trying out the step putt. Yeah, so I have a new putt that I developed. Very original. But outside the circle, I never miss now. All right. He actually went to practice this last night. Yeah, <laughs> I did. You got to do it with the PD. Here. No. The PD is the disc. No, I don't want to. I want you to. So easy. The PD is the disc. If you want to make every putt, putt with the PD. I just PD. didn't warm up my putting, that's why. They made the course a bit tougher. They lost some trees over the last couple of years and I had to make some OB adjustments. Push some baskets longer, switch some pee pads, just barely here and there, a couple of feet. But it's still the beast, and I'm excited to attack it this week. You? I think the course is playing 1.5 strokes harder. 1.5. Definitely a um, few minor basket tweaks. Some. I already said that. Well, I can say it again. Why? I'm me. This is my perspective. The audience doesn't want to hear us say the same thing well, again. Well, you think about things in a different way than I do. <laughs> I have a different perspective on life. Okay. So I think the basket changes are easier. Easier? Yeah. I That's agree. my view. I agree. If I throw like a low power roller, or low. if I throw like a wide, high swinging, late touchdown roller? Low power roller. Really? Yeah, that's how but I But I had it. a dream that the high shot, like landing way down there is better. I feel like there's less room for error. This came to you in the More darkest hours of the night? <laughs> yeah. Watch, high, and the touchdown is like 180 feet later. I feel like that's a better shot. I think that's parked. I don't know. I think there's more room for error if you touch down later. Really? That's just really annoying. Oh my god. God, I'm good. Am I excited to be back? Am I excited to be back? My rehab's been going well, and uh, since it's a major, I definitely you know put a little bit more focus on this. I'm not going to be playing anything after until Worlds. Kind of keeping my eyes on the big ones, just so I can uh, recover fully to play next year. Play a full year next year. 
You ever gonna throw huge sidearms again, or is that kind of donezo? I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. Hmm. I believe I will be able to, and believing's the first step. That's true. <laughs> oh, do you think I'm just outside the circle again? No. I have such a disadvantage because I can't see the circle. Because I'm red, green, colorblind. So... My God. Oh. Um, I can see it kind of like barely, but not much. That was Eagle's lefty throw. What? Lefty birdie? That's like really annoying. Lefty birdie? I thought you couldn't get more annoying, but he still got more annoying. If you can't throw a sidearm, then you gotta adapt the lefty, I guess. Disc golf park counter. Count it. That's cray cray. That's a natural phenomenon. There probably used to be a tree somewhere here, right? Uh-huh. It's still holding on for dear life, even in death. Are you laying up? What do you think? Of course. No. That's how you won those two events, right? By laying up? Everyone, all my friends are like, oh, I really love seeing Simon Wayne. He finally, he finally got his stuff together. He's playing smart golf. He's got the baby. Yeah, it's true. Yeah? But I still don't lay up 150 feet if I can throw it 400 feet safe. But it's a hard shot. Also, this course is one of those courses where the layup is so miss upable. So it's not worth the risk of messing up a layup versus just going for it and messing up. That's my motto out here. I just go for everything because it's not worth messing up a layup. I think I can learn a lot from that. Yeah. OB. Das ist gut. Just barely made it. Now that you're a father, do you have any tips for new parents out there? You want some parenting tips? Yeah, just in case. <laughs> Don't shake your baby. Tip number one. And take everything with humor. Like when you get peed in the face, when you get pooped on, when you get thrown up on. All that stuff is perfect. Those are the memories that you're going to cherish one you day. You just got to smile at it and be like, yep, this is what I signed up for. It's all going to be worth it. When he's a world champion. It's much easier than the pressure of uh, leading a big tournament anyway. I don't like that I'm inbounds by 10 feet. I love it. I want to be like 30 feet that way. At least. Well, You're there, you go right, 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 right. I'm less in, in bounds than you are. I have a better angle though. At least to go, go far up the fairway. Perfect. Wow. That's kind of exactly where I'm going to try to land. Decent. What? I would have never expected that from you. No. Courses in Europe compared to in the US, there's a different level, level of professionalism brought here. First of all, you see a lot more kids. This is what Simon said in his vlog not too long ago. A lot of uh, young kids get in the sport. But in terms of course quality, I'd say the average course is of a higher quality, in my personal opinion, just because it was introduced to a later date, at a later date. And also, I just feel like uh, 
Your, Europeans are a li little bit more respectful in certain ways. Whoa, okay. I should probably throw a sidearm from here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't think that was me. Yeah. Thank you, though. I have an eagle look. I know, you got really lucky. I got lucky. Like, extremely lucky. How extremely lucky? You hit the tree and rolled. Yeah. You better run this one. I really want to lay up. <laughs> practice your practice your 50 foot layups right now. Really important. I'd probably lay this up in the tournament, but I'll go for it. No, now. you would not. I would. No, you would not. No, I would. That was a run. The wind slapped it down. <laughs> oh no. See, this putt from here is harder than from here. Look, I'll make it from here. And now I'll miss it from here. Well, you missed both, so they must be pretty hard either way. The worst part is I thought I, both You know the in. reason why I don't step putt? Because you're less annoying than me? Because no one would stand a chance if I step putt. Look. What? Never mind. I think the Mutant is an awesome, extremely overstable mid-range that is not only good for utility shots in the woods for scrambling, but in the wind it's like just the most consistent and reliable tool in my bag right now. And I throw it actually a lot. Like every course there's a use for it. I think we have a special guest. We have a special guest? Special I see guest. Him, yeah. We have a future crush boy. And we are super excited to uh, welcome seven year old Team Disc Mania future superstar, Tavi. Let's go. Hey, Tavi. Moto. Fist bumps? Nice. Heck yeah. We're going to. All right. He's going to show us what he's got. He doesn't speak our language, but uh, we know a bit of Finnish, so. Viva Hito. We got the yeah. Vivos. Oh, very Vivos too. Crusher, that good kick. Center cut. Nice. Of course. Oh, he is going for the rolla. Rollo. Roller. This is unheard of. What disc is that? A Zen. A Zen. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, and through everything, and what a kick, what a triple kick. Center and cut. Wow. He's got his new C-Line FD ready. Yes. Huva heito. Huva heito. Nice shot. Future crush boy is already a crush boy, I'd say. If I is would, it bad since I'm roller? a backhand man now, I would throw Genius, knifed on a hyzer, nice and soft, or a cut roller. I'm trying to cut roller. That's the best shot ever. Oh my gosh. That was going to be so good. Come on, UC, take that stump out. Why is that stump there? Eagle. Oh, Davi. Oh, standstill rip? Good shot. Oh my gosh. Were you trying to go right of that tree? I don't know. You were.
Nice shot. Not good enough. Five euros if you make it. Good, good run. Five euros if you make it. Ooh. Nice. Step putting should be banned. <laughs> I agree. I'm just doing it to protest, basically. It looks like he's only throwing four hands, eagle style. And that's the magician. Oh, that's oh, overstable. Oh, yeah. Right in the middle of the, on the path. Great right shot. In the middle. Nice. Good there job. You go. Why do I do that? That's pretty cool. Neil McMahon throwing a razor claw. Turned over, not enough. Fighting the left side gets knocked out. I need another one. Inch. I was doing commentary. Eagle McMahon throwing a Iron Samurai 3. Lefty and early release into the tree. That rhymed. Oh, sorry. Three lefty tree. Oh, three lefty tree. Tavi's drive is right in the middle of the fairway. And uh, definitely a par chance, I'd say. Oh, he's throwing a putter that's signed by a lot of people. And he rips it left side. Oh, that's a long look for par. Nice shot. You make your money by running it. Okay. Why did he hit that tree? Javi's up for par. Get up. Easy bogey. I'll go. Little push putt. Little spinner. Little forehand putt. It's got it all. I present to you a par save. No problem. Even less problem. Yes! Nice. Viva! Kula! First tree on the right. Not bad. I'm going to try one more. That's nice. Oh! So close. I'm in the jungle, I'm just gonna go. My personal opinion, I don't think there should be more than three elevated baskets or three ba elevated baskets per course, just because it comes a little monotonous and uh, kind of an unoriginal idea. 
you know, it's just certain times it does make sense because it can add a whole a level of difficulty, but it can definitely get abused. What do you think? Circus golf. <laughs> Circus golf? Yeah, I mean, the baskets weren't designed really to put up into, and we see a lot of spit outs and stuff, especially on, on elevated baskets. So it's, I don't know, it's a bit gimmicky, but I don't really care, whatever. You live and you learn and you, no one really cares, so, so you just play. What matters is the tournament staff. They're, they're the only ones that matter because without them, we wouldn't be here playing. So, and thank you elevated basket is more work for them. So, a rock star. Complete smash. Oh, that's a good spot for your forehand. Nice. And this right here is an overachiever shot. Whew. Root. Kick. Worst spot ever? It's pretty bad. Oh. Worst kick ever? How is it that flippy? What? It's so flippy. Yeah. Different does every shot. I love it. Viva. Position. I think he might line up a roller. Terrible idea. Terrible execution. Terrible result. Tommy, if he does everything right. You can still get a five. That is a great shot. Good placement. Beautiful. Let's see if what I practice works. It did. Pretty good. Not too shabby. Oh no. Oops. Oopsie. Am I outside the circle? Yep. Let's go. Oh, perfect spot. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Because it was so perfect. Step putting sucks. It does. I'm done step putting already. I see mine. You're there. Nice shot. You stole my chains. That's what I do. He's off. Awesome. There you go, no problem. Throw it? All right, I have to make it. There you go. <laughs> it's new. Good disc. Oh, bringing out the big disc. Play with you, Tavi. Flex those muscles. Boom! Boom! Oh, oh, oh you almost killed Took the duck. duck. Duck hunter, duck just like me. Duck breaker. Pede? Ace. 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 Oh. That works. I'm gonna try one more. Oh, bad. Ooh. Ooh la la. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, tomahawk. Duck breaker. I like the idea.
Eagle, stand behind the basket. I have to throw this in because of the low ceiling. Thank you. Get in. Hey, let's go, job. Tavi. Good job. Thanks for playing. Fun playing with you, Tavi. There you go. Keep on playing. And dreaming. Future Crush Boy. Thank you, Future Crush Boy. You're like unusually hot. It's not hot, it's like 65 degrees. I got pants on. I thought I was preparing correctly for the finished summer, but finished summer is bringing the heat right now. Or you are, I can't tell which one. I am with my yeah, step putts. I'm, I'm gonna walk a little further away from you. Did you rip? You ripped. Oh. What? Did I rip? <laughs> I thought you were doing courtesy walking further away. No, I'm trying to get away from you because you're too hot. Oh, that makes way more sense. It's pretty dang good. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna do that. I think that's not a bad play. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> the one branch that's sticking out. Oh, him. Even a terrible forehand like that is still not too bad. I've blocked them out of my memory. <laughs> you try to forget about those kind of kicks, yeah. But nothing too crazy comes to, to mind. Oh. What? Are we doing the same time? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You suck. You play every weekend, I don't. <laughs> this is a multi-golf hole, by the way. As you can see, the basket is in a hole. So you can play soccer golf, swing golf, or cross golf, whatever they call it, and disc golf, <laughs> all in one hole. It's a really fun game. Oh my god. It's actually park golf. Park golf, yeah, that's right. Uh. 